Did you know that you have multiple ways to view your submission data within tables and not just the spreadsheet view? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, whenever you navigate to your tables, it's going to automatically be in spreadsheet mode. Now, if you would prefer to view your submission data a little bit differently, there are currently four other options to do so. And those are upload, card, calendar, and report view. So let's go ahead and take a look at each. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my catalog request form. I'm going to choose more when we'll choose submissions. And as I mentioned, whenever you navigate to tables, it's gonna automatically populate in the spreadsheet way. Now, in order to add those other ways, we're gonna head up to the top, we're gonna to choose new tab, and you can see that there's other options to choose from. So let's go ahead and choose a calendar option first, and we'll choose next. And for this example, I'm wanting to pull calendar view from the submissions that I already have populated. So let's go ahead and connect to a form. We'll choose next, and it's already on catalog request, perfect. Next, and now we get to create that calendar view. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the submission date and we'll choose create. Now I know that these submissions were done some time ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back to that month. And here you can see all four of those submissions. Now, if you would like, you can also change this view to go from monthly to weekly. And again, we can head back to see it. Those submissions are right about here, but it's as simple as that to view it in calendar mode. Let's go ahead and try another one back up to the top. We're going to choose to add a tab and this time let's try the card option. Next, we're going to connect to existing form. Yes, the catalog request. And for this one, we get to choose which fields populate on the face of each card. So I can either choose to select all and they'll all populate on the card face, or I can choose to drag and drop which ones I would like to add in. And we can put that submission date down at the bottom. We can create, and here is that card view. So let's go ahead and do another one. Again, up at the top, we're gonna add a new tab. Let's go ahead and do uploads, next, connect to existing form. And with this one, this is going to work best if your forms include some type of a file upload option. Now, if your form does not include that, we can still utilize that because you can upload a file on the back end. So for this one, how do we want that card title? Do we want it to be the name, email? Let's go ahead and leave it on the name. I like that. Now, because my current form does not have the upload option for them to upload something like an image or a PDF, if I leave this on, nothing is going to populate. So I want to make sure to turn this off. We'll do create and we can see now we can head to upload and we can add an attachment on our side. Now, the last way is going to be our report. So let's go ahead and add a tab and we'll do reports next. Yes, the catalog request form. And we can either start from blank, we can do the extended report, or we can do the compact report, which has multiple charts per page. Let's go ahead and do that compact report. And we can see it populated over on the right hand side. It is a four page report. So here we have the information, the name and the emails. And then we also have that same address in the form of a bar chart. Now, if we would like to share this, all we have to do is come up here to publish. We can copy this link and we can send this to everyone would like, or we can even embed this on our website after we make this form public. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any other questions about how to utilize our JotForm tables and access all these different views, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.